Welcome to Hitman Boxing. We are the A-Side Boxing Community. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's talk about Kell Brook and Jermel Charlo. Kell Brook's been talking reckless all over Twitter. Calling out everybody at 154 from Jared Hurd to Arizlandi Lara to Jermel Charlo, the current WBC champion. Now, Kell Brook is the silver champion at 154, right? So that means that at some point he will get a chance to face Jamel Charlo for his real belt because, well, Kell Brook's belt just isn't real. I mean, if you have a choice between silver and gold, which one are you going to pick? I'm going to pick gold, honestly. But we'll let Kell Brook have his fun. You know, he got the silver belt, even though it's green. Um, you know, it's a version of the WBC championship, right? So let, let's just keep it at that. Now, Kell Brook, I'm not sure where he decided to reemerge. You know, after losing to Errol Spence, he said he went into a deep, deep depression. You know, I guess he'd been going to, you know, I'm not even going to get into, I'm not even going to make fun of him like that. But we're going to get into Kell Brook in this video. So if you're a real big Kell Brook fan, I suggest you leave or just realize that this is just my opinion. And if you've got an opinion about a boxer, why don't you make your own channel? You're here to hear my opinion, right? So just relax, calm down, enjoy the show. It's the Hitman Boxing Show, man. We're not like all these other boxing channels out there. We try to we try to make sure you're thoroughly entertained and you get some information about boxing and you learn that Kell Brook is really not that guy. You know, Kell Brook's just not that guy. You know, you really shouldn't be fighting at 154, first of all. You know, you really kind of too big for 147, so you should just make your own weight. You know, as I suggested in another video, you can make a chocolate brownie weight. Fight at 150, you know, pull the 154 pounders down and pull the 147 pounders up, right? Because you're a big name in the UK. I mean, who wouldn't want that payday? Which brings me on to Jamel Charlo. You were saying that nobody knows who Jamel Charlo is, right? You're saying that he's not a lion. He's not a top guy at 154, right? But are you a top guy at 154? Who'd you beat at 154? What legendary fights do we know you from? Oh, I know. Let's let's go ahead and refresh everyone's memory about your legendary fights. You beat Sean Porter. But let's get into that body bag. Triple G, body bag. Errol Spence, body bag. You fight Jamel Charlo, he gonna put your body bag in a body bag, okay? And that's facts. Facts. That's why he don't want to fight Jamel Charlo. Because he know what's going to happen. Them eye sockets going to get broke again. Your face got broken back to back. Left to right. You got stopped. You quit. You quit in front of your fans out there. You quit, bro. You quit against Triple G. Batting your eye. Rough, your, your, your man's threw in the towel. That was it. And you pretend like you wanted to continue. No, you didn't want to continue. Because remember, you said you were seeing, you said you were seeing like five triple G's, right? That's G, 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 That's all the G's you were seeing. A lot of them. Now, Errol Spence, you fight him. You already looking like Kano from Mortal Kombat with the red eye. And he breaks your other eye. And now we just call you Cyclops because you're going to have to wear a visor for the rest of your life because you can't really see that good. And you got this titanium vibranium plate in your, your head. What do you think Jamel Charles is going to do to you? You're undersized at 154. Your, your reach isn't that long. You're short. <laughs> you're not going to beat Jamel Charlo. You're going to get knocked out. You're not just going to get stopped. You're getting knocked out. All right. And you talk about you want to fight Jared Hurd. Like, do you really want them problems? Like, really? What's really good? Do you really want those problems with Jared Hurd? A dude that's going to come in like a cruiserweight? And if he hits you one time on your face, your head going to pop off your shoulders? You don't want to fight him. And then you say you fight all them champions except for Ares Lenny Lar, right? Because he's boring. Or well, I don't even know what you said. I'm not even sure what you said, but you're being very disrespectful right now. Lara will box circles around you. Again, you have the reach of a T-Rex, all right? Your punches don't go that far. 
You're going to have to start fighting on the inside. But these guys ain't going to let you get on the inside. They're going to come forward. I like how you do the pull right counter. I like that. We like Kell Brook as a boxer. He's a good boxer. I just wish Kell Brook would go back down to 147. And I understand that he says that he can't make the weight anymore. But, you know, you better you better try. Try your hardest. Because that's where the money fights are. At 154, you are the money fighter. You know? And these guys have no problems going to, to the UK to fight you. To knock you out in front of your friends and family. But, if that's what you really want. If you're really looking forward to that, then go ahead. But, Jermel Charlo. You need to fight him. I'll give you one more fight and then you can fight Jermel Charlo. You know, fight Lubin or J-Rock, somebody like that. And then fight Jermel Charlo. And if it's such an easy fight, take his belt. You know, these dudes talking about it's easy work, all this easy... Like, if it's easy work, then just take the fight. You know, you, you say nobody knows who Jamel Charlo is, but you keeping his name in your mouth, aren't you? We know that's a fact. You're going to mess around and make him a huge name, just like you did Errol Spence. Errol Spence got his name off you because he broke your face. <laughs> you know, let me know what you guys think about Kell Brook and his, his comments to Jamel Charlo. And, you know, another thing, you've been going back and forth for Errol Spence. The last, what, week? Errol Spence said he'll break your eye sockets again. You say you beat Errol Spence at 154. You said that's easy work. It's not easy work, man. There's no there's no easy work for you at 154. Errol Spence beats you at 154, 147, 160. Drop a weight. He beats you at it. It's simple. Kell Brook needs to understand that he's the easy work. Let me know what you guys think about Kell Brook and his outlandish comments to these, these fighters at 154. Hitman Boxing, we are the A-side boxing community. I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best not exactly where i thought i'd be honestly a nine to five never was in my dreams i've been feeling all alone lately nothing i ain't used to since 88 as a baby when i came up out the womb everybody knew it was something special about me that fills a room i never understood it but my og told me it's a blessing i should use it to the fullest and that's what i've been trying to do but it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from the army of clouds I dream about a month ago while I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house. That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go. So I booked it. Couple friends took it personal. Like, why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro. It was unintentional. Conversations with myself. I need a hospital. I think I've gone bipolar. Half of me is conservative and the other stoner. I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl. The temp is negative 18, yeah, that's a cold world. Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station. Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes. Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back. Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track. In the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from this army of clouds